So welcome back to That Mama Plays Guitar. My name is Abby Freeland and I'm a mama and I play guitar. And you've, you've probably noticed a few new things here. The first thing is that I'm wearing long sleeve flannel shirt, which means I'm no longer in Africa sweating. I'm here in the Northwest state of Washington in the United States and I've traveled across the Atlantic to meet with um, my guest artist on the show today, Mark Hamry, who is also my dad. So I've mentioned, me. <laughs> I've mentioned my teacher before and we connect on Skype when I'm in Africa, but today we get to meet face to face. Um, also, a new thing is you might have noticed that I am playing a new guitar. Now, I usually don't talk about the stuff because I'm really more about the music, but I just wanted to mention I got this new Taylor um, GS Mini. It's all mahogany, back, sides, top, and I just want to thank the folks over at Taylor for making such awesome guitars. Also, I've never mentioned this before, but you'll notice that um, Dad and I both have our neck up guitar supports. And um, I just, I've been playing with these almost my whole life. And you can check those out at neckup.com. And Mark Hamry here is the inventor of those and producer. So that's N E C K U P.com. So today we are going to play for you a duet we've been playing for 20 years. I know, it's hard to believe. And I like to show you guys the music because I'm just like that. So just take a look at that. It's called Swing for Nanine by Romaine. And Dad, do you have anything to say about this style of music? Well, I just, it's the Jan uh, Gypsy uh, Django style of guitar playing originated by Django Reinhardt in the 30s and 40s. Uh, and uh, it's a great two guitar style with a rhythm guitar and a lead line. And uh, Romaine's a great. Uh, teacher and author of uh, tunes in the Django style, and it's just a fun tune to play. Good. So, we hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
swing for Nanine. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I just want to share a couple things, or we want to share a couple things that are a challenge in this piece, or just things we like about it. Uh, one item that really challenges me with this style of music is the fingering. Fingering is always important in guitar, but I feel like especially in this style, you really have to get your fingering down beforehand. I write a lot of it in so that I can remember because you have kind of some long rests and then lots of notes all at once. So just for example, in the first measure of the piece here, I have to remember to play this E with my first finger. Normally in the first position we play E with our second finger, um, but all that goes out of the window when you're doing this kind of piece because you just have to figure out what works. So for example, I go... So you can see I played um, the E with my first finger and then I moved down. I had to save my second finger for this next A. So what would you like to share uh, about this piece, Dad? Well, I think what's really interesting about this piece is that uh, it modulates uh, out of its original key. Uh, swing for Nanine is in the key of A minor, and the three basic chords in the key of A minor are the A minor chord, and the D minor chord, and the E7 chord. Uh, but it's, it's a real refreshing change of harmony and melody, is that here, uh, right away, it goes into this B flat 6 chord, which is from the neighboring key to A minor of D minor, or F major, and then it comes back into the B7. Uh, now B flat 6 is very close to the related to D minor because the notes of D minor are D F A, and B flat 6 is B flat D F A. So it's close enough to connect to the key, but that B flat is kind of a wake up, and it just sounds really good in this uh, song. And also, I had to really pay attention to the fingering when we got to that second section where uh, it was in the, with the D minor chord and has this arpeggio that comes up like this. And I was first playing it barring like that, and it can be done that way, but I thought here it would work better if I brought my second finger back. And that's a technique that if you haven't considered before, you should think about it that if you're playing a note on a particular fret, you can actually bring a higher numbered finger above it or below it on the same fret, and it really makes this work good. And I really like the strength I get on that note. So those are a couple of things that I really think are, are important about playing this tune. Yeah, so we've just enjoyed playing it together. We hope you've enjoyed listening. Uh, thanks, Dad, for being with me today. Thanks, Abby. So um, next time, I don't know what I'm going to be playing, but I do know that I will be back in Africa sweating. So I'll see you then. Bye.